Hi, Gene here with today's thought. Today we're going to talk about the green movement, Green New Deal, environmentalism, climate change, alarmism, whatever you want to call it. I just want to show you, this is just one photo that will show you, demonstrate as well as I could, how insane the, these environmentalists, well, the Green New Deal people, I mean, the we all want to, uh, you know, preserve the environment and, uh, you know, by, for instance, killing deer when there are too many deer so that they don't just um, starve to death because there's no food supply. That's what I'm talking about, real environmentalism or clear-cutting forests so that the, um, uh, so you don't have forest fires and you just let the dry tinder just collect there and eventually lightning strikes or something and then you have a, a fire like they have in California so often, wildfires and now in Canada with the smoke drifting down here because they just don't exercise good forest management because they don't believe in disturbing the environment at all, even when it helps. But I'm starting to get off the track here. Let me get back to uh, the photo I wanted to show you. And here is the photo. And this really says it all. And I'll have another example in a, in a few seconds. But a paper straw in a plastic wrapper. That that really does say it all. Taking uh, uh, to save the environment to use recycled, probably recycled paper too, but they put it in a plastic wrapper. But uh, an even better example is just go to your local, uh, go to your supermarket, and, and everything is wrapped in plastic. But the uh, especially if you go to the the, the deli counter, they'll give it to you everything in a plastic bag or the the um, the meat counter in the back. You know the prepackaged meat. It's all wrapped in plastic, but the real uh, illustration of insanity is Trader Joe's. You go to Trader Joe's. I, I remarked about this uh, to the, the checkout girl when the last time I was there because I bought all this stuff Everything was, you go into the frozen section, you want like frozen broccoli or, or frozen fish, frozen vegetables, frozen uh, Indian food, frozen anything, and it's wrapped in plastic. Even if it has a, a paper box inside, there'll be the, the item will be wrapped in plastic. So I buy all this stuff wrapped in plastic, and then I go to the checkout counter, and she puts, uh, I'm sure this has happened to you, she puts everything in a paper bag. Like that makes it different. You, different You've bought all this stuff that's wrapped in plastic, and then they give put all the stuff wrapped in plastic, all the plastic wrapped packages into a paper bag, and, and you're saving the environment. And, then, and this is uh, so characteristic. It's really the defining characteristic to me of this whole green movement. So you have, for instance, electric cars, which nobody is buying. They're just piling up on, in the lots because they're not practical. I read a story the other day. Somebody, he got a fender bender with his electric car. I can't remember what it was. It was an electric SUV. He had, I don't remember the brand, but he had a little fender bender. The insurance company gave him 1500 bucks to pay for repairing the, the the fender bender but the bill from the mechanic the actual bill was forty two thousand dollars because you, you have to understand these things the the whole bottom floor is, is the battery the, the battery is not like a little battery that just gets inserted into the car the whole bottom the, the whole floor of, of the car is, is uh, it's one big battery it's actually a lot of little cells just one wired together. So you have a fender bender, you ruin that battery, and you probably have to replace the whole battery. And you can imagine what a job that is. First, the expense of the battery. That's probably most, I wouldn't be surprised if that's half the cost of the car. And then it has to be completely replaced because anything happens to the battery it won't work. And then, and then just the labor of getting the, the battery out of there because it's the whole floor of the car. I could go on and on. It is just so insane. And that, but they don't care because all they care is you don't have an exhaust coming out of the, the, the back of the car and they think they're saving the environment. Never mind that all these minerals, rare earth minerals that we have to get from China right now because we're not, uh, our, our 
these liberals running the government they won't let us mine for the materials here even though we have the, the we do have rare earths here but we can't we can't mine the, those materials here and so so we, we have to depend on China just like oil we have to import oil because even though we could be energy independent the insanity just goes on and on but also these materials have to be processed they have to be refined and processed and then um, the just the mining itself, all these elements, and it takes a lot of power too. And how are you generating the power? The 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 materials. There is, I think, like four hundred pounds of copper. There's much more copper in an electric car, obviously, because uh, you know to create the windings and the batteries and everything, than than in a, an internal combustion car. So you need a lot more uh, copper. I read one one uh, one time that there's uh, that there's there's not enough copper in the world right now to uh, uh, build the the car. The amount of cars that you would want for everybody, and nobody's buying them. Again, they're piling up on the lots, but. Uh, those have to be mined, and it takes energy to to mine and refine all these things. And you're not—it's not wind power that's that's powering all the, these plants and mining equipment and everything. It's uh, it's coal and oil and, and natural gas. And uh, as I, I I just can't say too many times, but you you saw the photo. Uh, uh, a paper straw in a plastic wrapper that pretty much says it all and that says it all for me today that's my thought for today thanks for stopping by if you could subscribe that would really be great share this uh, vlog with anybody you think would like it and get them to subscribe to subscribe too but most of all come back and see me again i would love to see all of you again and until i do see all of you again bye